come on in. You're just in time to see my next project. I bought a Polaris Magnum 500. And she's a real wow. basket. I'm going to tear this down, start the finish, show you guys what to do. Um, this thing has some major issues. It's got, uh, I'm going to set this down here. It's got a head gasket blown, so I'm going to show you how to tear that apart. It's got brake issues. Um, carburetor needs to get rebuilt. Um, so, have a seat, enjoy the show, and welcome to Titanium Man's Garage. So I picked up this thing, and uh, I guess the deal is that uh, last owner had a switch for the fan. Um, apparently his fan wasn't working, so he just had a switch. Every time he'd ride it, kick it on, fan would flip on. Big mistake. Kids, his kid jumps on it, takes off with it. Guess what? Forgot to turn the fan on. Blew the head gasket. So uh, this is a Magnum 500, and uh, I posted a video on how to replace the cam on this. So I'm actually going to help you guys out. I'm going to tear the stone from start to finish. You can see how I do the plastics. Um, just uh, strip everything down, uh, clean everything up. I'm going to take the, um, the head off. Actually, I'm going to do a little compression test. But my plan is, while I'm that far, let's make this an HO. So apparently all you need to do is get an HO cam and the HO carburetor. And uh, this little bad boy should really fly. Uh, it's ugly as sin right now. But by the time I get done with it, it should look pretty decent. Alright, so uh, stay tuned and I'll start tearing it apart and you can check it out. Choke cable's missing. Uh, I don't know where that went. I got another choke cable. Same thing. Nut spins off, comes off, the choke pulls out the other way. Day one of tear down. I will tell you what I found. Got to tearing this apart, and uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff wrong with this bad boy. I took the carb off. This thing looks like it's been sitting for years. I mean, see all that green gunk in there? That's a bad gas. So, said I was gonna put a HO carb on anyway. It's gonna get replaced, but uh, yeah. That's number one. Uh, did a compression test. They got good compression. So, I guess my next project is, uh, our next step, I should say, is I'm going to tear that rocker cover off and uh, see what that cam looks like. But Yeah, she's, uh, she's coming apart. So, we're going to get her rocking and rolling and uh, hopefully get this bad boy running.
Next step is uh, brakes. Um, got the tire off. The uh, brake pads seem to be in fair shape, but I do have a brake pad set. Um, <laughs> another thing missing is the brake lever. I don't know how this guy stopped. He must have used the back foot brakes. So I am going to replace that. I have a uh, used one sitting here I got from a buddy of mine. Yeah, pretty lucky. He parts these things out. So. And uh, as you can see here, that line goes all the way down to the junction box. That's all pretty rusty. I'm sure that's probably why it didn't work. Uh, so I'm going to rip that apart, take the uh, screws out, and replace it, and then bleed the brakes. All right, so for the moment we've all been waiting for, I got this thing all rebuilt, back together, cleaned up everything up, painted everything up. Now we're going to fire it up. I'm going to show you how well it runs. So, got that. Check this out. Fire it up. tweak the carb and she'll be ready to go okay so got the engine running I've got the new brake handle going on here brakes are tight now we need to get rid of the uglies we got some rust going on here all over the place so I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up I want to paint everything, make it look pretty, so don't scare away any customers when I go to sell it. So. Alright, got her all finished up, cleaned up very nice, painted that ugly blue, it's turned out sharp. I paid 700 bucks for this, I got 60 bucks into it, about 10 hours of labor, and I'll sell this for about 1700 bucks. Glad you enjoyed the show. Subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, uh, hit the like. And uh, you know, if you've got something you need to fix, check out my channel. I got plenty of uh, Polaris repairs on there. Thanks for watching. Till next time.